everyone, today is Isaac King videos. Today it's going to be a very interesting Android destruction video. What happens if we delete slash dev? So what is the dev folder in the Android system? This is the folder oh no, this is the folder that controls literally most of the things in the Android system. But I'm going to show you what happens when you delete it. So, as you could see, slash dev is a folder for the developers. So, as you can see, here are some folders to say. This is where your logcat goes. This is your logcat. And these are all the logcat folders. As, and don't forget, dev connects to all of your storages. So, here is all of your system storages in the device. Don't forget, it controls your graphics, your input, inputs one and two, control the touch screen and the buttons. And so many more. And the socket controls the drivers of like the, shall I say, like the shutdown and the startup. As you can see, if we take a look, we've got, as you can see, we've got all of these. These control the memory parts and stuff. So as you can see, the TTYs control like the, the boot segments and stuff. So as you can see, we're going to put dash the ev. And we're going to put dash dev android and see what comes up. So as you can see, it's like the developers common bits that they test and stuff. But what happens if you delete it? We're going to find out. So dash dev is actually a Linux file. It is connected to the kernel and connected to the Android system. It's like a subsystem that connects to three things. Kernel, boot.img, Android or system.img. So we're going to see what happens when we delete it. As you can see, just going to set things up. Got the wire to see what the system is saying in the background. And we're going to show you what happens when we delete it. You can skip the video to the part where I delete it because it's going to be amazing. So, as you can see, the phone is connected up. I have got the Android Logcat connected, and that Logcat connects to. The dev folder, the dev. So as you can see, system status is going quite well. Now let's see what happens when we delete it. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, look. Oh, the system's crashing. Oh, look at that. The screen's gone black. Look at that. The application's crashed. If we take a look now, the log cat's freaking out. So as you can see, it's shown the status bar. And then, as you can see, I can't tap anything because there's no input. As you can see, oh, link has crashed. And as you can see, as you can see, and there we go. The system has crashed. So as you can see, there is no response. And that's what happens. And as you can see, if we take a look now, code around PC, as you can see. So let's go up when we deleted it. Wow, that's a long coder. So as you can see, it's been doing that. So things are going quite good. And yep, it's saying, Removing device due to event. Dose removed segment, and then when it gets to this bit, event zero, and then and and then when it gets to that bit, it actually says update, and then the whole thing starts to freak out. So as you can see, this is what the code is there. Build one and as you can see, it's in a loop. As you can see, it goes here. System at crash, and then. It just dies out. So as you can see, if we go to the bottom here, oh, 
As you can see, the system has died. So as you can see, it's just looping around. So as you can see, let's see what the kernel is saying about this. As you can see, the kernel's not even loading up anymore. So yeah, so that's it guys. So as you can see, not only that, but if we take it into a dark corner, you can actually see some of the backlight is still on. So it's quite hard to see, but if you take a look in the dark, you can actually see some of the backlight is actually still on. I'm gonna push down the screen. As you can see, when you see that, it means the backlight's still on. So as you can see, the phone is irresponsible. Yep. And the only way to fix this is to remove the battery and reinsert it. Alrighty then, thanks for watching, subscribe to Isaac King Videos, and that's what happens when you get rid of the slash dev folder.